And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now, if you last remember, April Ryan, our heroine, had just climbed inside of a dumpster to get inside the police station, then had to get through a lot of bureaucracy and fake-outs just to get through the doors into the station proper. And now that she's in here, she has to find the archives, uh, delete the records belonging to Warren Hughes, and find out what happened to Warren Hughes' sister before he will help her find a hacker who can get her in to see the Vanguard. No pressure, though. But anyway, let's get started here and see if what we can do now that we're inside the police station and continue the longest journey. And here we are inside the police station. And for those of you playing video game vending machine bingo, there's a video game, a soda machine. In fact, it's a bingo vending machine. So you've got a double winner there. Um, the archives are actually here. These are the archives as April will tell us when she wanders down here. Archives. And the archives are protected by this retinal scanner. It's a retinal scanner. Instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. Well, they still have it, but obviously we can't use the retinal scanner because I doubt it would recognize us. So we need to find someone or something who can. So we'll go in here into the... Um, yeah, sounds like somebody's having a bad day. Um, this is the locker room. We have the showers, the showers. over here. Unisex, of course. Of course. Um, and this is before Battlestar Galactica. Amazing. Now, we have a bunch of um, lockers here. We need to look at them. Sergeant Frank Manella. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. And there's only six police officers in this entire station, apparently. Uh, the big thing you have to realize here is that um, Maria Hernandez is the only female officer they have. Let's go see who is this guy having such a horrible time in the bathroom here. Hi. Who's in there? Manelli. Who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? If you recognize the voice, that's the guy outside, that was outside the theater where we met with Cortez. Remember we gave him a piece of candy we had dunked in some toxic waste? I guess we know why he's in the bathroom having a problem. Uh, let's pretend to be the only female police officer here for the time being. Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, oh God. Now, he has stomach medicine that he carries around with him, so he routinely has stomach problems. All right. So use the key on his locker, which is this one, if you recall. I mean, why is he the only one who has this little light at the top of it? the only one that has a light on inside. All right, he's got his toothbrush in here and his purse, I guess. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You can never tell from looking at him. Okay, so Manelli has a fake eye, and we have a retinal scanner. Hmm, I bet those two things are connected in some way, don't tummy you? Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for a runny tummy. Yeah, apparently this is a common problem for him. Sergeant Manelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. Oh, th the fact that he slams his locker and not the fact that he was after Cortez and therefore apparently is at least inadvertently helping the vanguard. Well, it's a broken, so let's get this little broken piece here. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. Well, we can probably use that for something, so let's take it. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. April. 
you have a metric ton of stuff you're carrying around with you, and you're worried about the mirror shard. Not the push pin, or the organic plastic, or the fake eye, or any, the mirror shard. Whatever. Okay. Oh, look, there's a note back here. Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. Oh, the subtitle didn't match the actual text. Now, does he carefully remove that mirror shard, read the note, and then put it back? Or did the note get shoved back there and forgotten about? Or What's the deal here? That's... I'm not going to speculate on that any further. Okay, let's go back and give Manelli his medicine. Maybe he'll let us borrow his eye or something. Oh, thank God, thank God. Uh. All right. Well, we still have to figure out what his wife's birthday is. Maybe we can convince him to tell us. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Are you gonna cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. Okay, well, maybe if we ask him about Ms. Manelli, he'll tell us when her birthday is. Because that wouldn't be suspicious at all, now would it? How's Mrs. Manelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... it is what it is, you know? Yeah, get the impression that something's going on between... Frank here and Sergeant Hernandez that he doesn't want Ms. Manelli to know about. Hmm. About Mrs. Manelli. God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nice? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake, you don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can! Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Yeah, what did go on between um, Manelli and Hernandez here? Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, crap, my eye! Oh, look, he dropped his eye. I wonder if there's a way we can get that without him noticing that it was us. Hmm. Now, in a few seconds, he's going to pick that eye up. But... There you are. What we're going to do... Yeah, there's a switch what? over here. I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? Sorry, I clicked on April by mistake. There's a light switch back here. Let's turn that off. Dude. Oh, crap, my eye! Now remember, we have an eye, too. We have Constable Guybrush's eye. Let's see if he can tell the difference. There you are. Back in your slot. Oh, God, I'm seeing red. I'm having a stroke. Maria, Maria, go get the doctor fast. I'm seeing red. Yeah, do we feel bad about this? No, not really. Alright, let's use Manelli's eye on the retinal scanner. And does using an artificial eye on a retinal scanner even make any kind of sense? I mean, what is it? It reads the circuits in the back of the eye or something? I mean, whatever. Alright, 
here's the archives. We've got a printer, we've got a computer, and we've got a control panel. We're going to start with the computer. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli. And I feel really guilty doing this. No, you don't. I, uh, love my wife, Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. Yes, I am so good again. Now, what to search for? Congratulations, April. You're now a hacker. And I want to know, what in the world is this operating system they're using right here? Remember, this is like 2207. I mean, what is he doing here? I mean, okay. Green screen TTY. The future. Well, we're here to find out about Warren, so let's see what we have to say about Warren. Well, it looks like both Warren's parents are dead. And he has a sister named Erica. Now, Warren himself is wanted for a lot of things. Now, let's just remember this long, complicated number here, because it might be important. Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. Well, Warren wants us to get rid of his record, so let's get rid of his record. Whoa! I think I just killed Warren! Oh well, he's just gonna have to, uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the morgue. So delete means make the person the record is for dead? What kind of interface is that? Shouldn't that be edit and set a deceased flag or something? I mean, wouldn't delete just get rid of the record? I mean, whatever. Well, Warren might like to know that he's dead, so let's print out our hard copy. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? And is that a dot matrix printer I hear printing? <sighs> okay. Let's see if they have anything about the Vanguard in here. It's a long shot, but... Nope, of course not. How about the Church of Voltec? That's what they disguise themselves as. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark. So there must be at least some information available. Now you notice that the Church of Vanguard comes up as the Revolutionary Search, or Church. And information protected and classified under the Religious Secrecy Act. Religious Secrecy Act? Okay, whatever. We also have this thing called the White Cardinal Jacob McAllen. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. You think it's an adventure game, April? You need to learn how to be genre savvy. Okay. We're not going to look up Jacob McAllen yet. Instead, let's see if there's anything on us. I'm just going to make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Alright, there's nothing here. Warren's, Warren's sister. sister. Please, please let there be something. Nope. Well, remember we have our colonization number. Remember we looked that up a few minutes ago? Let's, oops, try that. Why is that not, oh. There we it's go. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. Okay, um, apparently she was adopted by someone named Lieutenant Carol Drake. Okay, and, okay, it has, we just killed Warren by deleting his record, so shouldn't he show up as deceased too? Hmm, alright, let's try printing that out. I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren.
Combo Mercer Prime. Is that a planet or a place or what? Alright, let's look at Jacob McAllen now. The so called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. Hmm. I think we just got Frank in even more trouble. Oh well. Why did it let me continue if I had violated my user privileges? Shouldn't it have locked me out of the system at that point? Man, for a police station, these people are not big on security. Uh, there's nothing important here, but keep in mind these weird patterns right here. Okay? Let's leave. Alright. May as well go to the printer first and pick up the things that we printed out. And over here we have a control panel. So let's go look at it. It's a control panel with a weird keyboard. Now, it's got this weird keyboard, and if you notice, these symbols kind of look like those we saw when we looked up Jacob Gallon a second ago. In fact, four of them are the same. They're actually this symbol, um, this symbol, this symbol, and this symbol. Um, no, this symbol. And the archive retrieved something for us. Let's see what we got. Just a folder. There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. All right, so we have a data cube of information on the Vanguard. That may come in handy. Notice the folder was labeled Vanguard, even though nothing in the computer mentioned Vanguard, and it came up under the Church of Voltec. Now, the only other thing we're going to do is this soda machine here. We're going to buy a soda, because you never know when one of those may come in handy. Let's see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! I'll go with the old standby, bingo classic. Boring, but safe. Alright. Now we're done here. We have everything we need from the police station and we can leave. Now, be sure you do everything before you leave, because the path we came in previously won't work anymore. We can't come in through the dumpster anymore. Now we could walk in the front, but remember my game at least has a bug there and crashes if I try to go in the front door. So I have to make sure I'm completely done. The last thing I need to do is pick up this screwdriver. And we're done. We're just going to leave the police station now. Walk faster, April. There we go. And let's head on out. This is where I, you come in when you go in the front door. And again, I get crashed when I go here. Now, I'm going to stop and talk to this policeman here. This is something you have to do to advance the plot, even though it isn't immediately obvious why. Move along. There is nothing to see here. Except for that crashed hovercraft. Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. But they say it's the safest mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers. Then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation, if you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. Thanks for ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Yuck. Um... Crashed hovercraft. Now, notice that there's no exit from this conversation. We actually have to talk to the guy. 
Except for you, officer. Hey? Me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. So that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Um, uh, me? I'll be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. Except... I won't tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <coughs> are you feeling all right, officer? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just choking me up. <coughs> Alright, we actually had to go through the entire conversation tree with him just to get to the point where he tells us that the dust is choking it. Okay, fine. Now, the last thing we need to look at is this little blinking thing over here. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti-gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. Well, we're glad you remember that, April. Okay, we're done here for the police station for now, so let's head back to the subway and go tell Warren that we've killed him. I'm sure he'll be excited, aren't you? Wait for April to run all the way across this screen. All right, and does this woman do anything except ride the subway? Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. All right, let's go talk to Warren. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... my parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. The cops are not going to be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. But I'm going to have a tough time getting a new ID. You should have just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey. Keep it cool, sister. Okay, I gotta ask. Warren got is mad because his sister is being raised by a corporate type. Given the way their world seems to work here, the corporate types seem to be the best thing that could have happened to her. I mean, what? He wants her to live here? In this place with him? Somehow being adopted by a corporate person is a bad thing? Okay, maybe it... F it. Well, there was a hovercraft, better watch out, those things crash all the time, apparently. But, um... 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, that sounds like what they would want her to be. She will at least have a good life. Maybe he won't match his epic morals, but duck, hovercraft, I'll stop talking about those now. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to a stopping point here because we're about halfway through this thing. So we're going to watch April slowly walk across the street and head back to the subway. When we get back, we will continue with the longest journey and we will come to the conclusion of chapter three, where we talk to Burns Flipper. Anyway, in the meantime, I am Dennis and Pants Top of the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you later.